All right, coming up next, we get to this welterweight bout between Bruce Lee and Tony Ferguson. You ready? You ready to fight? All right, so the fight is now underway. We'll see how long it goes. We've got a submission specialist on one side and on the other side. Maybe the most well-rounded fighter in the story. Yeah, he is one of the best fighters in the entire UFC. But in front of him, he has one of the most dangerous fighters across all divisions in the octagon. Because that one skill he has is so good that you're, un you're in danger the entire time. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. He is all about that left kick to the body. Oh, that's a nice strike. All right, so the taller fighter lands a knee, and Daniel Cormier to my right. I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. Beautiful body. Oh, these guys throwing early. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, how about it? Huge kick landed. Beautiful knee to the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. Oh, oh he is up, but man, is he hurt. A finish could come here at any time. Straight punch land. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Another head kick lands. He's got to start blocking these, DC. One more, and it could be lights out. It could be over, and most people would be sleeping on the mat after taking such a dominant strike. Credit to his chin, but you don't want to get kicked that many times in the head. Oh, tags him with that funny left again. Big elbow from Ferguson there. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's gonna... Oh, man! 